So you guys have been watching me restore this Land Cruiser for the last few months and it's almost done so we're going to take it out for a ride today and uh, out in the woods and do a little for light four wheeling. But uh, we also brought it up to some property of a friend of mine because this isn't my first Land Cruiser, this is my second Land Cruiser and I thought you'd like to see the first one to see how it turned out. And uh, Andy's with me today and we're up on his property. And this is this is the first Land Cruiser I restored. It's a uh, '69, and it belonged to Andy's son Sean, and, and he died in a construction accident, right? In what year was that? 2001. 2001. And then this he had this Land Cruiser, and he was using it to, among other things, to uh, work on this property. Um, and haul logs up and he actually built this cabin with the logs that he cut off the property and he used this Land Cruiser before it was restored. So um, he, did, Sean wanted to restore it, didn't he? Yeah. He no, wanted no, to no, fix no, it up no. Yeah. And, <clears throat> and it sat for a long time on the side of your house, right? After yeah. it died a yes. couple of years. Uh, and um, how did it start that we got to be, we just started, to, how did we get started, how did all this get started? Well, that's hard to say, I don't really know. Uh, somebody, maybe Pat's idea, my wife, uh, she may have mentioned doing something with restoring the car. I was, uh, you know, at that time my son had just died, I was in a terrible, terrible place. I had, you know, awful depression. And then working on this project for a few years with Mike really kind of was therapeutic and it really helped a lot. So how long did that take? We worked at on least, it at least two years, yeah. three, three years. Yeah, we um, had to do a lot of body work. It was originally red and had been painted blue by somebody who didn't do a very good job, and the blue yeah. paint didn't stick very well. So we ended up. Uh, sandblasting this all the way down to bare metal and then painting it again and once you do that you can change the color to anything you want and so Andy picked out this color. This is called Desert Tan. This is an official Toyota color. That, uh, we we uh, painted it in my nephew's garage. We just uh, hung plastic sheets all over the walls and hung it down, hung parts down from the ceiling and spray painted it and we did an okay job. Not perfect but you know it looks pretty good from a distance. Yeah. Yeah, it's one of those 15-footer uh, restorations. It looks pretty good if, you, if you're looking at it from 15 feet away. Um, uh, Andy made, uh, actually, when he made that paint booth, he even made a little air filter for us out of an uh, old fan and a filter, remember? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it actually worked pretty good. Yeah, we turned but, that little garage into a paint booth and then... We can, I, guess, I guess it worked. <laughs> yeah, and then for a few years after it was done, we would take it to the Good Guys car show up in Longmont. <clears throat> Did that maybe three years. I remember the first year, we were the only Land Cruiser there. And right. then by the second and third year, that we had friends come by. And right. A guy named Steve up from Cheyenne, he came down, brought his down. And uh, it was all right. Hey, we could, you know what we could do here at the end here is we could pop the hood open and look inside there real quick. Okay. Well, we'll just do a quick walkthrough. Um, so we didn't um, end up having to rebuild the engine. We did have to do the head because there was a burned valve way in the back there. But the rest of the engine was sound, so we just left it pretty much the way you see it. Uh, rebuilt the carburetor. Uh, lots of electrical wiring. You can see it, it's got a whole new wiring harness from Painless because the old one was there almost really just ran the engine and nothing else, right? Mm -hmm. Um, do you think maybe, was there a car fire on that? I don't, there could have been. Electrical could have been. fire? Things happened to it. I got stuck in the mud one time and had to be towed out. It was water, you know, up to about here. <laughs> well, that's what land cruisers are for, yeah, right? Yeah, that's what they're for. It's for, they're for fun. They're not for very anything practical. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, let's see. Let's have a quick look around it and then we'll stop this video. Um, we ended up um, doing a bed liner material all the way, bed liner spray on, or actually I rolled it on you know, all through the interior here. Um, it still has, uh, somebody took out the bench seat and put in these bucket seats, but we recovered them and I think they look okay. 
And uh, let's see, what else can I show you here? Uh, we did these, remember these, Andy? We put those back on, put those on, the fender, fender flares. Oh, and new rubber all around. We did did all of that. Remember, that was kind of a pain in the ass. Yeah. Yeah, especially the windshield. Especially the windshield. Well, uh, why do you say we take this out? For, take these two cars out for a ride here, and we can um, make some videos. Okay, sounds good. I'm going to stop the video right here because right while we were filming this sequence, something really amazing happened and we caught just a few seconds of it on video. And here it is, a great big thousand pound bull moose. And uh, all I can say is you don't see that every day. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, press like and subscribe and uh, we'll see you soon.